Good afternoon, everybody. Um, today I'm here with two special guests. I'm Leah. I'm Michelle. And I brought them in today because I'm going to um, test their taste buds and make them guess what they're eating. And you can close your eyes. <laughs> you're just trying to guess Pickles. what you're eating. Can I smell it? It's not open yet. <laughs> Guessing by the sound of the clink, it is about two inches in height and one inch in width. Actually, I don't know. All right, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm making you um, try some baby food and guess what you're eating. They're or actually guess really cute, guys. These are really cute. I don't know if you've had baby food before. I don't remember eating it. Have you had baby food before? You know those like star cherry yellow oh, things? Yes. The oh, the puffs are, really are very good. good. <laughs> <laughs> what you? Do you remember eating baby food? Um, I don't. But will we get to know like will we get to choose or do we have to just say it? You have to say. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm excited. Maybe an easy one. Are you excited, just... Michelle? Not really. <laughs> this is the first one they're <laughs> trying. Wash. Oh, this smells not that bad. It smells pretty good. Vegetable. Ready? Go. <laughs> I think I... I know what this is. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ate the whole thing. <laughs> it's kind of good. It reminds me of, like, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Are you going to finish it, Michelle? Okay, okay. It's kind of good. <laughs> Except it's like a weird chalky aftertaste. Like very at the end. I don't know. Alright, do you have your guesses? Yes. Ready? Three, two, one. Holly potato. Yeah. Leo's correct. <laughs> <laughs> potato. It's really cute. We can put some marshmallows in this, make a casserole. Yum. We're all upset. Oh, let's cleanse our palates. Oh. Yeah. Drink some water, cleanse the palate. This is the next flavor. There's some um, chunks <laughs> at the bottom. Nice pop. Three, two, one. Where's the spoon? Oh, and wait. I don't know what this is. It's oh, yeah. easy. It smells good. This is what it looks like. It tastes pretty good. It's like softer than normal. Mm. Like it's a very like velvety, like pillowy soft. All right, do you have your guess? I think so. All right, three, two, one. Apple. Oh, what? Pear, it's pear, it's pear. <laughs> Once Alex said, huh? I was like, ew, I know what it is now. Cleanse your palate. Cleanse your palate. This is the next flavor. It smells like me. I don't want to put this in my mouth. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. I know what this is. This is not good. <laughs> Any guesses? Like that. Turkey? No, it's tuna. Oh, it's not tuna. It's chicken with <laughs> gravy. Chicken with gravy. Oh, I can't taste the chicken now. It does have some chicken chunks in it. It does. <laughs> well, it's not that big. Was so that good. enjoyable? Can you end us off with a good tasting one? <laughs> <laughs> there are two flavors. Three, two, one. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. What does it taste like? Corn. It does taste like corn. Oh, oh, those green beans. What are they called? There's some kind of like green. Green bean. beans? <laughs> <laughs> it could be spinach because spinach tastes like nothing or kale, but I don't know if they'd be kale to babies. A spinach? Is that your final guess? This is spinach and corn? Wait, let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's actually, it's much better than the chicken. <laughs> um, I liked the pear a lot, actually. Hmm. Peas and corn? Um, one of Michelle's <laughs> guesses were correct. Sweet corn and green beans. Oh, uh, Michelle, your pack <laughs> is so good. Not for the first three. <laughs> you know, trying all of these makes me happy I can chew solid food. Mm. Just right. imagine if we had no teeth. Fencing my palate. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. I'll give you a choice. Um, pick one or two. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the tape is kind of peeling it off, but. Oh, it's hefty. Uh, it's a little thick. Oh no! Are you it serious? Like oh. <laughs> you can try it. Oh. 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 Is this one too long? I don't. This tastes like meatloaf. Is it meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> like beef? And it's oh, like it's very more. thick. It has a thick texture. What's the flavor like? It's very meaty. Meaty? Um, I don't know if it's a fish because it's not very fishy. But it kind of smells the same as a chicken to me. I so agree. I don't know. It's the, okay, it's definitely not another chicken because chicken has to be like not made. There's chicken in it. Mm. Is this a variety baby <laughs> food? Like some kind of weird mix? Michelle guessed it right. It's beef and gravy. Kind of gravy. Yeah. This was not fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one has to go. I'm showing you the consistency. It's not even coming you down my it upside down. <laughs> okay. That's one. Oh, wait. This one has to be a good one, right? You know you're born without any tolerance to spice, but then as you grow up, that's how you build up your tolerance. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you can try it. <laughs> Is this the same one? No. It's different. Are you lying? I'm not lying. It's a little different. Right? No, I can't. No, it's definitely darker. I I'm not gonna say tomato, but it kind of looks oh. like the red in the tomato. Tomato sauce. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like tomato. All this baby food has an underlying weird like. like it's the same taste. taste. Yeah, it's like this like a similar weird taste. Stop drinking. It kind of does taste like tomato. It has like that savoryness, but I could be lying and just saying these things. <laughs> All right, tomato. what's your final guess? Tomato soup. What about you? It's really sweet though. It wouldn't be carrot. Carrot tastes different, right? A shadow. Carrot. What? <laughs> Carrots don't taste like this. No, not just like carrot. Okay, Michelle, uh -oh. which one was your favorite one? Isn't the pear? Yeah. The pear was my favorite. What about you, Yeah. I, I don't know why it's not taste like I guess it could kinda of taste the carrot. I don't know. But my favorite was also the pear. But the consistency was a little soft. It's alright though. What didn't you like about the beef? Um <clears throat> it just tasted meaty. It was really chunky. The texture? really was off-putting and it was very strong and it hit me in the face. I don't know what kind of babies like that beef and gravy. Mm -hmm. They don't really know what true beef and gravy is <laughs> like. If they knew, they they would just... They would not, they would not eat it. Um, <laughs> the green one, what was the good? Green beans and corn was not bad. Sweet corn and green. Yeah, it was alright. It tasted as it sounds. Yeah, not too much flavor. I think Ali should try it. Oh. <laughs> alright. I didn't sign up for this. It's gonna be a mix of all the flavors. Did I 
check all of it. Yeah, check all of it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. Um. What do you? It's kind of like stuck at the back of my throat <laughs> a little bit. Uh huh. Um. It was first like sweet, and then all of a sudden it was it got a little thicker, <laughs> like meat. I don't really, wait. I think there's like carrot and probably beef, <laughs> a mixture of that. That was spot on, Allie. You should have done oh, this really? challenge. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Because I remember the smell of Thanks for watching and make sure to comment on the side what baby food flavor you would like to try. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Here I have another special guest and she's going to try this. And guess what it is? Get this water bottle. Yeah. Wait, we're supposed to be six feet apart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is this six feet? Can. No. No, it's like five. <laughs> I guess. Smell okay, like, ready? Smells like two now. Try it in three, two, one. Uh, I can't fuck with that one. <laughs> what Vicky, <is that? laughs> try it. <laughs> uh, Vicky, that's what it tastes like. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. It doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like my grandma's food. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's from France. Tastes like blended tuna fish. <laughs> Guys, it's actually cat food. <laughs> 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 it's beef with gravy baby food. Oh, okay. Close your eyes and your eyes closed. His eyes are closed. Are you sure? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Alright, guess what it is. Or what does it taste like? I feel like there's um, some kind of meat taste, maybe chicken or beef. Wow. Uh, you just tried some um, beef baby food. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah. It was. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> Okay, close your eyes. Is it baby food? Oh, close. Yes. No! <laughs> Jimmy was eating. Really drop it. Okay. I don't want to. Where is it? You could try it now. You can open your eyes after you. <laughs> it's turkey and like... What does it taste like? Bean. It tastes like chicken. Bean? Chicken. It's oh. either turkey or chicken. Yeah. What about you, Cindy? Tastes like the chicken from yeah, Costco. Chicken. chicken? Tastes like the chicken. Tastes like chicken. Is it um, or beans? What is it? It's chicken with the gravy. And hey, gravy. I'll take it out. I like it. <laughs> oh, here's a trash can. Oh, was I not supposed to finish it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Great, great job. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Is it soup? Smell it. Sure. Ooh, it smells like turkey. It does smell like turkey. It's from preschool. Oh. Yes, you can it. open your eyes after you. But I guess when I turn it from the wrong here, it like it's like Hey yo dad, hey yo dad, oh my god, hey yo dad, hey yo dad Oh Come in look at the camera, look at the camera <laughs> There's tears coming out of my eyes I can <laughs> smell it Oh, oh it feels so bad this is like turkey mess. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Can I get the oh, tissue? Oh, this is chicken with oh. gravy. Chicken is that for kids? Oh, no. Yeah. Baby. How do people oh. eat that? I don't know. <laughs> Never again. Thanks, Bobby. Hi guys, I'm Bethany. I'm Edison. Um. I'm 17 and I just graduated high school. And I'm 14 and I just graduated middle school. Yeah, so today we are doing something a little different. We are going outside of SF and we are taking you to a small city called Millbury, California. Next to the airport. No one's heard of it, but 
uh, yeah, so we tell people we just we just tell people we live next to the airport. So yeah, that come is. explore Millbrae with us. Okay, guys. So right now we are at um, a school that's really close to my house. It's literally three houses down. Um, Edison came here for elementary school from like second grade to fifth grade after we moved. Yeah. So let, let's. This is called Meadows Elementary School. These are all the buildings. Um, there's a hallway there. I don't. I never went to school here before, so. Yeah, I was in middle school already. And there's basketball hoops, more basketball hoops. There's a stranger right there. <laughs> oh, there's a um, there's tetherball. Can you guys see it? Send me the send me the photo of all the. I'm vlogging. There's a where's the tetherball with the ball. Okay, let's go closer. I can't I can't do this. So tetherball. We used to play tetherball when I was a kid. It's kind of dangerous because you get hit all the time when you're not looking. Lonely, I missed a lonely. There are basketball courts over here. There's a lot of basketball courts. So this is basically the school. Catch you later at the next destination. Okay, so we're still walking along meadows. Um, this is a lot right here. This is a teacher's lot but it's very special because this is where my dad taught me how to drive like a year ago. Um, he taught me how to do like the 90 degree parking, he taught me how to back up and all that stuff. And yeah, so this lot is very special to me. Okay guys, so right now we're gonna go to downtown Millbrae. All right, so this part is um no, this is Taylor Middle School. Um, right there is the cafeteria. This is the field um, where we usually run the mile. Um, there's a picture. This is a picture of the front of Taylor Middle School because you can just see the back. This is the back of my high school, Mills High School. This is the football field. And um, yeah, that's the picture of our center court. It's actually pretty nice. It's, it's pretty new, yeah. Next we have, this is the fire station, fire, fire department, this is the police station, and right next to that is City Hall, so they're all together. And this is the library, we just passed by, yeah it's pretty nice. Um, this blue building right here, um, supposedly it is a museum of Millbrae history. This is where we used to live. It's an apartment complex when we first moved out from San Jose. Yeah, we lived here for like three years. Um, this is, this just is a neighborhood. A, yeah. It's pretty nice. During Halloween, this street is pretty nice. At 11, yeah, it's nothing going on there. Um, there's like a bunch of restaurants and shops. There's the kitchen. It's a dim sum place pretty good and there's also a barber shop a hot pot place and a boba place that i don't think they're open but yeah pretty nice chill are you cringy this is the milbury sign that lets you know that you're in milbury can't miss it Broadway, lots of Chinese restaurants and other restaurants, um, lots of boba, yeah, sweet indulgence, pretty good dessert place. T4, uh, very popular in Millbrae, it's not that good but everyone likes it. Um, we have Pete's Coffee, ooh, uni souffle right here, fun fact, my friend works here and one day Jeremy Lin walked in and ordered a souffle. Kind of irrelevant in the game of basketball right now, so I don't really care. No. Dean's Produce right here. This is where we get our organic fruits and vegetables. Shanghai Dumpling Spot, pretty popular in Millbrae. Um, due to some sticky rice, I had to go to the hospital, but it's not bad. This is Safeway. It's pretty big. It got uh, renovated a few years ago. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, right here is Office Depot. It's really big. Doesn't have to be that big because no one goes unless it's back to school. Um, we have Starbucks, Jamba Juice, a bank, a bagel shop, Walgreens, um, pet store. I don't know why. A pair of spaghetti. Basket Robins, they always find out. And um, Verizon, Trader Joe's, and a living spaces. This one's just random. Next we got Subway, Kakiyuki shaved ice, Eggets, C2, One Martial Arts, and this is El Camino Real. Yeah, this is El Camino Real. There's a Chipotle. This, there's a Lunardi's here, and a Tiger tea, and another Starbucks, yeah. This is Mills Hospital. Fun fact! There are eight kids in our extended family. One of them is born in Mills. Alright, Burlingame Avenue is like a high-end Irving, you know? Irving has a lot of stuff. Burlingame also has a lot of stuff. You need shoes. They got a van. You need a computer. They have Apple. You need... Or you want food, they have Quickvine and a lot of other stuff. You want boba, they have tea pumps, happy lemon, teaspoon, lots of stuff. They even have a Lululemon and a North Face. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so these are a lot of different places. It's a lot of food. Yeah, they have a place called Asian box and Apple store. It's pretty big. Yeah, we went to pick up something. I look at you. Yeah, Pete's coffee. That's my mom. Um, Brief. There's a new lemon. A gap. Yeah. The most <laughs> important store. Hey, look, yeah. it's dad. <laughs> teaspoon. I've been going to teaspoon a lot. It's pretty good. I recommend it. Get the mango. This is the happy lemon. I got the Yakult green tea. What do you have? Karamisu milk tea. Okay, cool. Three, two, one. Alright guys, so... So that was Millbrain. Um, it's just a short, small glimpse of where we live. Like I said, Millbrain is a pretty small city. It's a lot smaller than SF. So... I'm pretty sure we showed you most of the stuff in Millbrae. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, come to Millbrae, come visit us, because we're lonely. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? No. Alright, cool. Catch y'all later. I'm gonna roll the two milli milli. My mentor is Jordan, and if you don't know how he looks like, here's a photo of him. Um, Jordan likes playing music, and that's why he goes to Soda High School, which is a high school meant for musicians like himself. Some of his other hobbies are playing basketball and video games. Some artists he listens to is J. Cole and The Weeknd. Welcome back to Big Eats, everyone. I am your chef, Leah, and if you don't remember, this week's theme is trending foods. Our special guest hey, today... Leah. What are you doing oh. here? Oh, hey, Anson. We're filming an episode of Big Eats. Oh, what are you making today? Well, what are some of your favorite comfort foods? I really like macaroni and cheese and boba. Oh, I've been seeing a lot of that on Instagram, too. Yeah. Do you want to try making it today? I'd love to. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Our ingredients for tapioca balls are some brown sugar and then a little bit more for when you're done cooking the boba. 
Yeah, you also need some tapioca starch and some water. Yeah, that's it. It's really simple. For our milk tea, we are going to use some sugar. We have a combination of white and um, brown. We also have this jasmine tea, but you can use any tea that you want. You can use oolong or black tea. Um, anything that you have in your house is fine. Yeah, you should also use half and half and a pot with water. Our mac and cheese will need, of course, some cheese. Um, we have sharp cheddar here and Parmesan from our um, lasagna episode that we had left over, but you can use really any cheese that you want, um, any cheese that you find at, in your house or at the grocery store. But we just like sharp cheddar because it gives it a really nice flavor. And then we also have some butter and milk. Yeah, some other ingredients that you'll need is some macaroni, some black pepper, some salt, these are some optional ingredients, and this one is dried up garlic, as well as crushed up mustard. Yeah, and for the pasta, you can really use any shape that you want. So we don't have elbow today, but we have this. It's like a little twistier, or you can use any other shape that you want. We're gonna start with making our tapioca pearls. Wait, Leah, I think your phone's ringing. Oh, I think it is. I hope you're enjoying today's episode of Big Eats. Uh, I wanted to pop in because I wanted to tell you that boba is made from a root vegetable. The tapioca balls are made by extracting starch from cassava roots, which is a long tuberous plant native to Brazil. Cassava has been used by indigenous people as an essential source of carbohydrates as early as the 1400s. Now, next time you have boba, you'll know. Catch you next time. <laughs> Wait, does that mean boba can be my only source of carbohydrates? Well, technically, yes, but you need other carbohydrates too from other foods because I don't think it would be very fun on your digestive tract, but you can get carbohydrates from a lot of other things like vegetables and fruits and different breads and rices. Okay, to start our boba balls, we're going to add our water and our sugar to the pan and we're just going to dissolve it first. So we're going to bring this mixture up to a boil and we're going to stir occasionally. Whoa, this is really starting to bubble. Yeah. Do I need to break up the little bits of brown sugar? Yeah, I think that would be good. Ooh. I'm Starting. just gonna lower this heat a little bit, but make sure you stir now, because okay. we don't want it to burn on the bottom. Mm -hmm. How do you know when it's done? Well, when you can't feel any more sugar underneath your spatula. All right, is it all dissolved? I think it is. Okay. Now that our sugar is dissolved, and this is up to a simmer, we are going to add about a third to a half of our tapioca starch. Okay, and then we're gonna stir. And what you want it to look like is kind of like um, a watery mochi. You gotta stir vigorously, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of clumps. You just gotta stir. Am I not doing it right? Oh no. You got it. Ooh, it's starting to smell like boba. Oh? Very cool. So we've incorporated all of that half of the tapioca flour and we'll show you what it looks like in our pan. So the heat is off now and we're gonna add the rest of our tapioca flour and we're gonna stir until the mixture combines. We also have some extra tapioca flour on the side. Ooh, it's getting thick. Yeah. Even though it might not look like it's gonna to come together, you just gotta to be patient 
and it'll come together soon enough. Even though it might not look like it's gonna come together, you just gotta be patient and keep stirring. How's it going, Anson? It does not look like it's coming together, Leah. I think you just have to keep on mixing. It's yeah. close. Does all the tapioca flour starch have to mix up? It does, yes. But you're getting close. Oh no, you might want to scrape that yeah. on the side because that has like a lot of moist bits. Oh, this is a workout. Do you want to try? Okay. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, Leah. That's why I'm not doing it. All right, once it's kind of mixed in, you can put it onto your um, like, oh, what was it called? Cutting or cutting board? Cutting board. This was a lot of hard work. I'm glad I stayed patient. Yeah, so once you're done, you're gonna put it on your cutting board. And it's okay it's, if it's a little lumpy like this because we're gonna knead it um, for just a few seconds until it comes together. And it's gonna be hot, so be careful. This burns a little bit, but that's okay. Hey everyone, it's Steph editing um, this Big Eats episode. I just wanted to pop on and tell you guys, don't listen to Leah here. If it's hot, please don't touch it yet. It's not okay. Wait till it cools down before you start kneading it. All right, it's having a little bit of trouble coming together, which means that I'm gonna add just the slightest bit of water. And if yours is too wet, then you can add more tapioca starch. So you can put it in depending on the consistency, but you don't want to put in too much water or else it'll, it'll not be good. This is gonna take a while. So maybe Steph can fast forward or... <sighs> yes, Leah. Wait, like do you wanna wipe your forehead? Yeah. You're sweaty. You're crumbly. Why are you so crumbly, dude? Anson, while I'm kneading this, mm -hmm. what is your favorite um, boba spot to go to? Hmm. I really like to go to a cool tea bar. It's on the ocean. Oh. Yeah. What is your go-to drink there? I really like their house milk tea uh -huh. with grass jelly and boba. Oh, grass jelly. Do you guys like grass jelly? Hey Leah, okay. what's the difference between brown sugar and regular sugar? Well, brown sugar is actually just white sugar, but it has a little bit of molasses inside. That's what gives it its brown color. That's cool. Yeah. Light brown sugar has less molasses than dark brown sugar. What about powdered sugar? Well, powdered sugar is also the same thing as white sugar, but it's just ground up in like a blender. So you can even do it at home. You can take your regular white sugar and put it in the blender and blitz it and then it'll become powdered sugar. Awesome. Awesome. Do you notice if people like act a certain way in front of the camera? Like they're just more stiff? Yeah, sometimes people are really quiet. Usually they're like very big talkers. Yeah. But Anson, you're doing a great job of talking. Thank you. I'll just try to be myself. <laughs> Pretend you're talking to Steph. Hi, Anson. Hi, Leah. <laughs> That's so funny. You are the chef. I am the chef. You know best for your food. I know best for my food. Mm. This is a little mm. bit of a long process. Um, I think I measured out too much tapioca starch, so there wasn't enough water. That's why we need to add more water. So just be careful when you measure your ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's like, this kind of reminds me of like quicksand. Oh, I thought you were gonna say pottery. Like oh. making different bases or something. Hey Leah, what's your favorite boba place? Well, that would probably be Boba Guys. Um, there's this drink there, it's called um, Hoji Cha Milk Tea. Um, and I think it's seasonal, but it's very yummy, and I get it with regular boba pearls. Um, and hoji cha is roasted green tea. Wow. 
Hey, Anton. Huh? Do you know where boba came from? Where it originated? Was it from Hong Kong? Actually, it originated from Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. Wow. They have some of the most famous boba places there. But you know, when I was there, when I was traveling there, I was trying their boba, and their boba pearls are actually like mini versions. So the ones we have here, yeah. So the ones we have here are a little bigger, but I like the ones that we have here because I can actually chew them. Because the small ones kind of just slip through. <laughs> can you make a boba pearl that's like the size of that? You could, although it would take so long to cook, and I don't know if the outside would be very good because it would probably be very mushy. Mm. Wash your hands, everybody. Don't do this at home. <laughs> it feels sticky because of the sugar. All right, now that we have kneaded our big giant boba ball, we are going to separate it into smaller bits, smaller chunks. Let's work with maybe a quarter at a time. Or thirds, yeah, let's see. Um, and then we're just gonna wrap the pieces that we're not working with in some plastic wrap. Just to make sure it doesn't dry out. This is hard. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And then with our one piece, we're just going to um, roll it into a long strip. This be crumbly dough. Oh, yes, don't work with a knife on your cutting board. Good job, Anson. Leah, come on. Now that looks like clay. It really does, huh? I think there's a little too much water in here. It's all trial and error, guys. Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Are your hands getting tired? Nah. I'm strong. <laughs> well, we need to exercise at least five times a week. For 30 minutes. A day. All right, now that we have our little chunk of dough, we are going to roll it into like a long snake. Anson, do you want to do it? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do, is you want to put it flat and start to roll up and down. Do you want me to hold the cutting board for you? Yes, please, that would be great. And you can use two hands if it gets too long. Yeah. Is this good enough? Mm, or do you want the pearls to be smaller? I think you just need to make it more even. Got it. Wow, good job, Anson. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is good, right? Yes. Now that we have our snake, we're just gonna cut it into boba-sized um, little squares, and then we're gonna roll it and then put it in a bowl. Tai Tai La. Sorry. How's this? That's good. Too small. Oh. I'm so sorry. You're good. It's okay. Oh no. Alright, don't worry, don't worry. This might be too moist. Yeah, it's okay. Our uh, next batch will be a little less. There we go. All right, now that we've cut our little um, pieces, we're just gonna put it in between our hands and we're just gonna roll it into a ball. Once it's in the shape of a ball, we're gonna put it in our bowl. And then we're just gonna do that for all of them. Each 
single Tapioca Pro is made one of a kind, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Anson. Oh yeah, Steph, you could just fast forward this and then you can just put in questions for the kids to answer while they're watching. Yes, ma'am. Face I made was funny. Face you make always funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna put that in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just take away my comment at the end. It is definitely staying in there. Hey viewer, comment down on the side whatever boba place you like to go to. And your favorite drink? Nobody asked, but um, my favorite bubble place is um, Cool Tea Bar as well, same as Anson. And but I like the jasmine milk tea with boba. So here's a way to say boba milk tea in Cantonese: Zhenju Nai Cha. How do you say boba in Spanish? Comment down below or on this side. Okay, we have all of our rolled bobas, boba balls. Boba balls. <laughs> now we are going to put them in boiling water, be careful. Um, so we're just gonna boil them for about 12 to 15 minutes. Be very careful when you're putting it in. Do you wanna start with this? Don't do it like me. Hey kiddos, Leah very dangerously dropped the boba balls into the boiling water. But here's a tip for you. Why don't you guys put the boba balls into the strainer thing that Anson is holding and carefully lower it into the pot so you don't get the splash. Thank you. We're stirring with our strainer, but you should probably stir with something else, like a spatula. But you do want a lot of water when you boil the boba because you want it to not stick together and you want the starches to be able to release. Our boba has boiled for about 15 minutes. We're gonna put the cover on it and then we're just gonna let it sit on the side um, over here. And we're gonna let it sit covered for about 10 minutes. Guys, try saying this 10 times fast. Go, 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 go. Do you know what that means? Well, if you don't know, let me explain. That means 
that brother is taller than that brother over there. For our milk tea, because we're done with our boba, it's just sitting right here. We are going to boil it, and then we're just going to pour, um, out of the five cups, we're going to pour one cup into our measuring cup. So would you do the honors? Be very careful with the step, because it can be really Boiling hot. Boiling water. Yeah. Let me just try this out. kind of scared. You got it. Mm -hmm. I can tell you when to stop. Oh, that's good. Okay. And we're making a simple syrup. So we're just going to pour that into our sugar. And usually, um, usually a simple syrup is made on the stove, but we don't really want to use another pot and it's still hot. So we're just going to dissolve it in here. And this is going to be our sugar syrup for our um, milk tea. Okay. So we're just letting this sit for a moment because we want it to to go down in temperature just by a little bit. See, it's almost all dissolved. It's a really pretty color though. It's like nice and golden and yeah. brown. Wow. Now that our syrup is done, we're going to add probably just like four tea bags, depending on how strong you want it. And then we're just gonna put that right into our hot water and let it steep for about uh, eight minutes or so. We're just gonna put our tea bags in and then we're just gonna let it hang over. The tea smells really good. Make sure you don't drink this at night because it does have caffeine. Now that our simple syrup is done and our tea is steeping, we're going to take the boba out of the pot, if that is possible. I'm gonna use the spoon to help me. And we're just gonna put it in cold water because we want <laughs> it to get um, a little chewier and to rinse off some of the starches. I'll be back in a minute. Now that we have put our boba in cold water, oops, it's kind of stuck. Um, we're just going to put it in a bowl and then we're gonna add our brown sugar, our two tablespoons of brown sugar. Do you mind getting that, Anson? Yes. It's on the cart. Oh. Now that all of our boba is in this bowl, we are going to add our brown sugar. And then we're just gonna let it sit. So we're gonna mix it in. We're just gonna mix it in now. And we're just gonna let it sit on the side until we're ready to assemble it. What do you think? I like it. It's looking very sticky, definitely. Um, I got no words. He got no words. Okay, we are starting on our mac and cheese now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our milk. And we have, we're supposed to have five cups of milk, but we only have four here. So we're just adding in one cup of water as well. No, you need to hold it this way. It'll be more consistent. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop splashing. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna heat this up to a gentle simmer and then we will cook our macaroni in it. We have a really simple mac and cheese recipe today. It's actually just one pot. So you're boiling your noodles and creating the cheese sauce in one pot. What is coarse sea salt? Well, that just means it's not as fine as other sea salts. So the actual size of the salt is a little bit bigger. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go downstairs. I just used the elevator. <laughs> Thank you.
This butter is soft so I can pinch it and it. But you don't have to have soft butter. Don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. It's kind of ugly now. <laughs> now that our milk is boiling slash simmering, we're going to add in our pasta and cook it according to the box. And this box says 11 minutes. Can I lower it? No, it's okay. okay. These are swirly. Yeah. I so they're smaller. So when this pasta cooks, it's going to release some starch, which will make the consistency of the milk even thicker. So we'll have a really creamy cheese sauce. Wow. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt so that the pasta can kind of soak in the saltiness. But not too much though. Okay, now that we're done boiling our pasta, we have our cheese. And this is actually, this was in a block before and we grated it ourselves because when you have pre-packaged cheese like this, they kind of put other stuff in it to make it not melt as well. Yeah, but it's okay if you do um, use pre-shredded cheese if you don't have the time. So we're just gonna add this in and we're gonna melt Whoa, it. Ooh. And this, this is now on low heat. Do you wanna put the rest? And then, just because we have leftover, I'm just gonna add some Parmesan as well. All right, we're gonna add some pepper. And then we're gonna add our garlic powder. Is that like a teaspoon? Okay. And then we're just gonna add a tiny bit of ground mustard. Be shy. Get some more. It's not coming out. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Okay. And then we're also going to add our butter. I think we're just gonna add half. So we don't want it. We don't want to be unhealthy. But you can add the whole thing if you want. We'll just taste it after. And then if it needs more butter, then we'll just add more butter. Butter is better. Like Anissa said, more butter, more better. Yes, ma'am. Mac and cheese is coming along pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty cheesy. How do you guys like your mac and cheese? Do you like it a little more liquidy or a little less liquidy, really super cheesy, or just a little bit cheesy. How do you like your mac and cheese? Um, I like my mac and cheese kind of thick, thicker, where if you don't eat it in time, it'll like freeze up into like a block. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah. We're holding off on more salt until we can taste it. Because remember, you can always put more, but you can never take away. So everything is combined, you can taste it, and if it's not salty enough, you can add more salt. But right now we are all done, so let's assemble. told me that y'all are making mac and cheese today and mac and cheese is my favorite so I wanted to tell you what the record for eating a whole box of mac and cheese is I'll give you five seconds to guess and make sure to type your guesses right now in the comments and I'll start the timer now five four three two one okay are you guys ready to know what it is? Can I get a drum roll, please? Okay, so the record for eating an entire box of Kraft macaroni and cheese is 30.50 seconds. That is a bit too fast. Um, kids, please do not try beating this record um, because it is not healthy eating that fast and 
But before I go, I just wanted to say, please save me some mac and cheese. Bye. Wait, so you're telling me that's the world record? Yeah. My bad, I can beat it. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, you don't believe me? I think you should show us. I can't show you right now. Maybe oh. I'll make a video about it. Oh, okay, let's look forward to that then. Okay, now that we are ready to assemble our boba, we're gonna add one cup of half and half to our four cups of tea. You can pour it in once I'm done pouring. So I pour it in here? Yeah, you pour it right into the tea. Even though the tea's warm? Yeah, it's fine, because we have ice in these. Let's start off with just a little bit of our sweetener and then we can always add more to our own um, individual drinks if we want more. So maybe like a third of it. A little more. Okay. Now let's mix it up. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, let's add some boba to our to our cups. It's not gonna be black inside because I think the boba that people use in the stores or in the boba stores are have food coloring in them. But these are all natural. You can just add however much you want. Now we have our boba. We're going to add our milk. Pour it in. Should we get a close up? Or just hold it up? Now that we have our drinks done, we will get the mac and cheese and we'll do a taste test. All right, as you can see, we have our mac and cheese in a bowl and everything is ready. Oh, mystery man. You scared me. That looks boring. Oh, hey, I guess it's us. Act. Hot sauce. Hot. Oh. Cheetos. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. Fried cookie. Oh. Mm. Okay, well, thank you, mystery man. I guess we'll see you later. Okay, see you. All right, let's mix everything in. Wait, Leah, I don't think we should add Cheeto chunks into this. You're right, that would be kind of hard to eat. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should crush it up. Yeah, why not? Okay, all right, we have a plastic Ziploc bag and we will put some in this bag. Ooh. And these toppings are really totally <laughs> optional. <laughs> These toppings are totally optional, um, so you can put whatever you want in it. But let's crush it up. Ooh, good idea. Okay, now that we have mixed in all of our toppings, do you want to try it, Anson? Yes, I do. I've been waiting okay. for this the whole day. Which one do you want to try first? Hmm. Let's try the hot sauce. Okay, let's try the hot sauce. This is what it looks like. Let's just get a couple of noodles. All right, ready? Cheers. Hmm, what do you think, Anton? I feel like the hot sauce is kind of overtaking the cheese. So I can't really taste the cheese. Hmm. The one that I had, it had a little bit less hot sauce. It was kind of a nice surprise, I guess. It was a little bit sour, and that was nice. Yeah. Uh, what would you rate this out of 10? I would give it a good five out of 10. I would give it a six out of 10. All right, let's try this broccoli one. Ooh. This is what it looks like. <laughs> What do you think? 
I think if you like vegetables or if you want vegetables, it's a very good option. Um, but there's not a lot of other things going on. Yeah, but I really like how it adds texture to the macaroni. Mm. What would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it a seven out of 10. I will give it a seven as well. All right, let's do... Furikake. Furikake, it's very pretty. Yeah. Okay, this is an interesting one. Hmm, I kind of like it. I need another one. I think the seaweed really adds another layer of flavor. Kind of, kind of makes it more interesting. It does. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it caught me off guard for a little bit because the seaweed was kind of dry on top of the moist macaroni. And yeah, I like the crunch of the sesame seeds. What do you think? Give it a six. I think I give this a seven. I think I like this as much as the broccoli. All right. Well, we saved the best for last, the hot Cheeto one. This is my personal favorite, so it might be a little biased, but. Okay, let's try it. I'm excited. I really like this one. Well, that is where it's at. How, what do you think about it? I really like how the Cheetos give it a crunch. It's kind of like breadcrumbs, you know? Exactly. Um, and if you like spicy, this is really good. It just gives it the perfect amount of spice. It's very, this is a very good one. I really like hot Cheetos and I really like mac and cheese. If you put the two together, it is a perfect 10 out of 10 in my books. How about you? I think I would give it a good 8.5 out of 10. Okay, 8.5. All right, we haven't even tried our boba yet. All right, let's try it. It looks like this. Okay. Both kind of look like mushrooms. Kind of. I think olives. <laughs> when you make it, you should probably roll your balls just a little bit smaller um, because it does expand. But Ready? cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I should have. It's pretty good. The boba is pretty chewy. Um, although it's a little bit soft on the outside, it's pretty good. And the milk and the tea really um, go well together. I like this drink. Ooh. The boba is kind of hard to get up, but overall, milk tea is pretty good. Boba, if it's smaller, it would be better. But I think it's pretty good still. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you post your pictures or videos on Google Classroom so we can see it. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. See you there. I'm Nat. Welcome to my day. It's the day in my life. You know they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so why don't we start with that? You know, I like to start my day with a warm cup of cereal and a cold bowl of coffee. Write down what you like to have for breakfast in the comments right now while I eat. I hope you guys help wash the dishes after you eat, because that's what I have to do. Alright, so here's my workstation. Some art stuff for art class later. Gotta get that ready with these stylish and functional crayons. Got my water because I'm gonna be talking a lot. 
This is what I use to edit videos and put together all the sessions. And this is our first day. We don't have anything posted yet. It's gonna be exciting. I don't know, I hope it is. There's Luffy. He just wants you to be the Pirate King, you know? All right, so we're getting ready and it's almost time to start for the first session. I bet you guys have watched it already and have had a lot of fun, but we'll see how it goes. It's almost about to start. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. But apparently this clock thinks it's the future already. I guess in the future, everything is okay. So we should be okay too, right? I don't know. Got a countdown. One. Got one minute. The chat is already going crazy. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them chatting. I see Maddox. I see Evil Magic Gaming. I remember that kid. We got a lot of people getting ready. Pretty crazy, huh? The wonders of technology and the internet and YouTube all on display today. Meanwhile, look at this audio file. I bet you can't guess what video this is supposed to be for. You can write down in the comments what it is. I don't know. Will you be able to guess what it is for? Maybe I'll tell you later. Oh, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Wow. So far, everything seems to be running okay. Got some people in the comments. I see you. I see you, Ava. I see you, Maddox. Uh oh. Just finished the art session for today. First art session. I think it went pretty well. This is what we worked on. Yep. Doing some foreshortening. You can look that up later. I don't have time to explain it right now. <sighs> Still got all these videos that we gotta take care of. This isn't me taking picture of myself as I test the Zoom sessions. There's a lot of technology to take care of. It's pretty crazy. This is the example I made. This spotty dotty again. The SpongeBob no pants. Yep. So, we'll see how the PM session goes. Hopefully it goes well and nothing blows up. All right, so it's time to eat lunch. They say it's the most important meal of the day, so why not, right? Not sure what I'm gonna eat today, but see what options we have. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna get a sandwich for lunch, so I need to get some bread. So I got a pro tip for y'all. If you wanna keep your bread nice and fresh after a long time, you keep your bread in the freezer. Then you just toss it in the toaster, it'll be nice and toasty, and you have a nice toasted sandwich. But what you should not keep in the freezer is your books, because you want to be able to read them. I don't know why you want to keep your books in your freezer, that's weird. You know, I like to make sure I have a balanced meal. So, let me show you my lunch. Got a sandwich, a little bit of Chex Mix, a piece of fruit, a little banana, sometimes an apple, and of course, to round off the meal, a big tub of kimchi. What's up my dudes and dudettes? Doing some work while I keep an eye on the PM session. Do you guys see yourself anywhere in the comments? I'm doing some work on the computer, working on day two, and it's day one. It's kind of like time travel, except not really, because I'm not traveling anywhere. Okay, it's not time travel, it's just work. Well, anyway, it's going, it's going okay so far. Hope your guys' day is going well too. Alright, 
I should probably do some more. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. All right, we got about a half hour break, so I figured I would make use of it by doing, I don't know, 50 push-ups. You guys wanna do it with me? All right, let's start now. Day camp's over, but there's still work to be done. I have to do some video editing for a uh, future day, so let's see. Oh, I'm actually editing this video that I'm filming for, but if I'm in the video and does that mean I am not here, but I'm in the video, it's uh, well, anyway, still stuff to be done, so. Gotta do it. Ooh. Hey, look, my wife is home. <laughs> Say hi to the, hi hi. To the people. <laughs> Who's on there? It's gonna be all of day camp. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> she brought, oh, it doesn't seem like she brought me a LaCroix, but I'll take it from her Here. anyway. All right. It's half empty or half full, depending on your perspective. This is our dinner for today. I know it looks exotic, but this is called tofu. Okay, tofu. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. You should try it sometime. You guys like watching mukbangs? Do you know what a mukbang is? Well, it's this thing on YouTube, well, not YouTube where people eat food on camera. People just watch it. Anyway, you were watching me eat this food. So I'm washing my dishes again. I told you I always wash my dishes. Hope you guys help out with your dishes at home. It's actually pretty easy. You can't have enough water, enough soap, something to wipe your dishes with, like a sponge or a cloth or your t-shirt, whatever you got. I'm going out for a walk. Make sure you get some fresh air every once in a while. You can't sit inside and play Roblox all the time. Always make sure you look both ways before you cross the street because you never know when a charging buffalo will come by and run you over. You wouldn't want that now, would you? This is my neighborhood. Pretty quiet. Bet you can't guess where I live. Right in the comments right now. If you get it right, you'll get a fabulous prize. That's right. A big thumbs up for me. This is a very valuable prize. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And you guys want any free books? What's this? This is a new secret hidden kung fu. Stumbled onto a fairyland. Quit studying Italian. Uh, arrivederci. I think that's Italian. Well, now that I've done a lot of day camp videos, I can get some real work done.
Well, it's time to go to bed. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And learn where to store your bread. Well, good night, everybody. Alexa, bedroom off. Alexa, tell me a joke. To me? Take it away. How come chickens don't fly? Because they're chickens. Alright, it's time to go to sleep.